I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I'm doing daily videos at the moment because there's so many amazing sale hauls. Also, I am in that proportion of the population that needs to self-isolate for 12 weeks. So, I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot of YouTube videos and occupying myself at home. So, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because it's going to be a ton of content. So, if you're stuck at home too, we can keep each other occupied. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've got today, I've got a sale hall. Tomorrow, I've got um, my, one of my last outings. I didn't even know it was going to be my last outing. That is the thing. Um, but I went to Vista Village. So, it was a good last outing, but I did vlog it. So, that's going to be up tomorrow. Then on Thursday, I've got my five ways to wear. And I've actually done a loungewear one, which was highly requested for anyone like me who's going to be stuck at home for the foreseeable future. Um, and then I've also got a normal haul that I need filmed and I need to edit. I've got a revolve haul that I need to film and edit. I've got dupes coming your way. I've got seasonal trends. I've got seasonal staples. I've got so many videos planned. So I'm going to keep you guys busy uh, and keep myself busy. So make sure. And I might do a wardrobe clear out too. Because what else do you do when you're stuck at home other than clear out your wardrobe? Um, so yeah. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and we keep each other occupied and this is going to be, I'm talking about being isolated but I'm, I'm not talk, going to talk too much about the dreaded C word because this is a C word free channel. We can just escape and have happiness and escapism hopefully. Um, so yeah, so today is a mango sale haul. I really love mango. I always look on their website. I have to say, it's not a website that I order from as regularly as sites like H&M and other stories. Topshop, I'm not really sure why, if I'm honest, because I love their stuff so much, but I just feel like I don't always end up making an order. Um, but when the sale comes around, I always make an order. And there's some amazing pieces, including some incredible designer dupes, which has led me because i've got some other ones to show you that i'm going to definitely do a video and include these um so make sure you keep an eye out for that even though you'll have seen them in this but you know girl's got to make the most you can so i got quite a lot i got a big parcel here um and i got a mix of different things so hopefully there's something for everyone and if you're not a big fan of mango i've got hauls from all over the place we've got our cat which is kind of more sustainable and basics and uh more like higher price point we've got river island everything was under 25 pounds we've got h&m everything was under 25 pound again though 30 pounds because there's one item that was 30 pounds the rest were pretty much under 10 pounds so yeah there's kind of something for everyone price point wise and also style wise because we've also got like and stories we've got top shop with like a ton of amazing denim in the sale so make sure you check those out i've just realized i've blabbered for ages uh, so thanks for staying if you're still here so let me get into this parcel. I always love that mango parcels come in these little... Oh God! Um, okay, so I'm just gonna work my way through this pile of mess now that it's just broken. Um, so I got a couple of bags for mango. I think mango do really, they're probably one of the best places on the high street for bags that have that designer look. Um, they rip off designer bags very well. Um, and they are rip offs, let's be honest. Um, but they don't look like the fakes that you would see on like she inside because obviously they're heavily inspired by designer bags they're not like exact copies so they're quite good this isn't a designer dupe that I know of but if you guys know a designer bag that you think it's a dupe of then let me know but I just thought this was really cute uh, obviously I'm not going anywhere now so I probably should stop buying so much stuff but um, I just thought it was really nice, this kind of snake skin, and I thought it was a really cute little bag. It's kind of timeless, but I thought it was quite special, and I feel like a bag like this is kind of like a conversational piece, um, like people will ask you about it if you wear it, I'm sure, is quite good for like any occasion in terms of going for like dinner, weddings. I just think a bag like this, like a conversational bag, kind of brings an outfit up a level and also adds interest to an otherwise simple look so you could wear like a simple white dress and then this or a little black dress and it just like makes it a little bit more interesting it's also got these little hooks here so it's got a detachable strap on the inside uh, that you can wear crossbody and I think this would look nice crossbody too but I honestly think this is really cute just like this and I like the fact that it's got quite a big handle too so you can slip it over your hand I don't like bags that have too small handles because 
obviously most times you would wear the bag like that but what if you have a drink and what about if you need to carry two drinks in the bar do you know what i mean like sometimes you just need to put it over your arm so it's nice to have that option so next we have uh i'm going to be really honest and say i know most of the things that i ordered but i got into a bit of a frenzy when it came to the sale and ordered a lot of pieces i'm so disappointed by this guys i can't even tell you like okay so this is a ribbed polo neck top and this is what it looked like. Obviously, I didn't look at all the pictures enough. Wow, someone's going crazy on my phone. Um, I didn't look at the pictures enough because what is going on here? What is going on here? Why have they done that? I mean, if you're going to wear it for layering, then it's fine. If you're going to wear it with like blazers and stuff or under jumpers, it's just a layering piece. But I'm really confused as to why. Did they run out of fabric? Were they just like, oh no, we've run out of fabric, that'll do. What, why? Is that meant to be, I guess, I mean, if you like the colour block, then I guess it's kind of like two tops in one. Let's look at the positive. Every clown has a silver lining. I'll try it on for you guys both ways to show you. Because uh, maybe it will look good colour blocked, but I'm just a bit in shock, to be honest. I think if I wore it like this, I would probably wear like beige jeans or different kind of neutral colour to go with the whole colour blocking thing. But I'm just a bit in shock because I saw it like this and thought, oh, that's a really good basic. And now I'm just very confused by this. I don't understand what's happened here, Mango. Please, can you explain? So it wouldn't really be a haul from Sinead, sale or non-sale, if it didn't include a beige jumper or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten because i'm obsessed as you guys know so this is just a really simple beige jumper you'll be glad to know it's the same color all the way around uh, and it's kind of got like ribbed sleeves but not majorly uh, it's just really soft and simple just a classic style a wardrobe staple and i always love to see things like this in the sale and um, because i think they're just you need it in your wardrobe who doesn't need a beige jumper and it's best to get things like this in the sale because they don't go out of fashion so um if you get it in the sale you're still going to wear it next year also i feel like they're quite premature in putting lightweight knits like this in the sale because it's still quite chilly in the uk it's definitely still jumper weather some days it's still jumper and coat weather um and I don't know about you guys, but I wear my jumpers all the way through spring and summer anyway because it gets cold in the evenings. Even if I go on holiday to a hot country, I take jumpers with me because A, air conditioning in the apartments and B, uh, in the evenings, usually the temperature drops. So it's quite nice to have like a lightweight niche to wear with dresses and skirts and things like denim shorts. And they look cute. So yeah. Just a wardrobe staple for all year round, really. So you guys are probably sick and tired of me using the two words, a wardrobe staple, at this point. But can we just appreciate this grey jumper? It's grey all the way around, which is amazing. Because <laughs> not all mango tucks are, we've discovered this. And um, it's got a really nice roll neck, it's very soft. It's just a bit longer than your average jumper. So it kind of, you'll see in the picture here, but it kind of um, grays, is, covers your bum, which is always quite nice because it gives you more options in terms of what trousers you can wear with it. Um, because also I feel like I like that option because you can tuck it if you want it to be a bit higher, but if you want it longer to cover your bum, then you can wear it with things like leggings and stuff too um, and not worry about exposing your VPL. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice little classic. I just love grey jumpers because I think they look so nice with like cream jeans and stuff, but also black jeans, blue jeans, they kind of go with everything. And I love a roll neck layered with a nice snuggly cream coat too. This is another kind of high neck. Is this like a high neck haul? <laughs> um, it's a knitted top and I just thought this was really cute and very timely. Is that the word? <laughs> like for this kind of season and weather because it's like a knitted t-shirt. So it's kind of in this like forest green colour. Can you see? And it's got this high neck, but it's not like a roll neck. It's more of a turtleneck, I think you'd say. And the longer short sleeves are kind of like a half sleeve. Um, and it's obviously fitted because it's like this stretchy ribbed material. And I just can imagine this tucked into a pair of jeans, nice belt, like a Gucci belt or something. It will look really nice. Uh, lots of gold jewellery. Also, this will be a really nice piece to wear layered um, if it's like colder because you've still got that really nice neck detail. So with a blazer or something uh, and also I think when it comes to be a bit warmer, you'd still probably wear this because it's not a super thick knit and it's like 
warmer than your average t-shirt but still it's short sleeves so it's not like a full-on jumper this i ordered because i was intrigued by it a i really love pink like i always think of myself as like not a girly girl and now i'm i always film in front of my wardrobe so if my like, eyes like glaze over and i look beyond the camera it's because i'm scanning my wardrobe when i'm saying i don't have anything in this color and then i'm literally looking like yeah 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 i've got loads of it <laughs> um but i don't actually have as much pink as i thought i had in my wardrobe because i do like pink now i'm not really a majorly girly girl but i just feel like with my coloring pink is quite complimentary uh, and this is a really nice kind of dusty pink shade it's really really soft kind of lightweight knit and it's got this kind of gathered or more bunched together bottom half and it's got this really nice open detail at the back with a little ribbon the ribbon's a bit disappointing because it's kind of that material that it could have been like nicer material but that material does hang nicely that's what I will say for it uh, and then it's got these really nice puff sleeves which again are on trend and it's kind of got like a three-quarter sleeve I think but I feel like you could also if you wanted to make it more of a short sleeve pull it up and then bunch it over which I'll show you in the picture and I just think this is again a really nice piece transi trans seasonal transitional and I think this definitely would look really cute with skirts um and over dresses and things because it's just got that really nice shape to it and i think pastel pink like dusty pink looks so nice pastels are in trend for spring guys uh, and yeah i just think it'll look really nice really 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 nice um so that's why i picked that one up and then we've got another jumper this is a cream jumper What's the Sinead all that cream jumper and oatmeal jumper and 10,000 more jumpers? And this is just a kind of classic cream jumper. Can you see it's got like a zigzag pattern knitted into it? And it's super lightweight. It's almost kind of sheer, can you see? Uh, and I just thought this would look really nice again for spring, again layered. Also, it's just like because it's a cream jumper, but it's got a look, something a little bit more interesting to it. If you do want to just like not think about what to wear and wear like a cream jumper and jeans, I do think that it's a bit more interesting than just like your average cream jumper because it has got that detail to it. And um, you could even make it more interesting and switch up by wearing different coloured tops underneath. So if you wanted to like go for a completely simple look, you could wear a white top underneath, you could wear nothing underneath, give someone a little peek. Um, or you could wear like different colours underneath or black for like a monochrome look so I think that would be quite cool to like switch up a bit uh, and it's just like a real kind of simple piece I've got the similar size medium I always get my knits in a medium usually or even a large because I like them to be a bit oversized then I save the best till last and it's this amazing saddle bag this is an absolute spit for the Gucci one which I'll put a picture in there which is like the bag of the season BTW and over a thousand pounds this one is on sale um, and what I've just realised which is it makes it even better so you can wear it like this as a shoulder bag kind of classic simple style but also you can wear it so these unpop and I've seen these on quite a few high street bags recently and I think it's such a clever idea so you can unpop and repop and make it a longer bag or a crossbody bag um, and I've seen that on quite a few different bags on the high street. And I think it's such a clever idea. Uh, and they do this in black too. I think that will also be in the sale because I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I don't think they have the cream, which is my favourite Gucci one, I have to say. But this is a real kind of classic, even if it wasn't like the Gucci one. It's just a real classic kind of style. Um, and yeah, it's loads of space inside. Just... A lovely bag but I wanted to show you it mainly because it just really reminded me of the Gucci one and I was eyeing this up before it went into sale I don't think it's that old either I feel like it's quite new on the website maybe it wasn't doing so well maybe because of everything considered going on in the world they've decided to like put more into the sale I'm not really sure but it's um it's a really good piece and I'm just surprised to see it in the sale so soon after I saw it land on the page to be honest. Thank you so much for watching my sale haul. I think this might be my last sale haul for a while. If anywhere else that is on sale that you want to see a haul from then please do let me know because as I said I'm stuck at home at the moment so I'm happy to oblige and if there's any other videos you want me to do anything really just let me know in the comments below. I'll be absolutely 
so happy to hear your suggestions. I know that people think that probably that I'm just saying that because it's what you say. But honestly, sometimes it's hard to think of new ideas for videos. And I obviously am doing it because I want you guys to watch my videos. So if there's something you want to see, then of course let me know and I'll do it. Um, so yeah, do let me know. And also leave me a comment. Keep me company, please. <laughs> uh, let me know what your favourite piece is. Do you think that's a good Gucci dupe? Are you surprised to see it in the sale? And also, what's your favourite High Street sale and what's your favourite haul that I've done so far? Um, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, what did I just say? I feel like that was a bit of mumbo jumbo. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you haven't already, lots of videos coming soon and I will probably see you tomorrow. Bye!